Hello my friends, it's Danny, and today I'm showing you how to make my clean and delicious salmon salad using canned salmon. Now after sharing my pantry essentials a few weeks back, a lot of you wanted to see a recipe using canned salmon. So I wanted to share with you this very simple, very delicious canned salmon salad recipe that I make on a weekly basis. Mm. Mm. I also have a couple other canned salmon recipes on my blog, so I will link them for you down in the description box below. Now canned salmon is one of the best buys that you can find at the grocery store because it's a super healthy, nutritious ingredient and it's way more affordable when you are buying it canned than if you were trying to buy it fresh. Now, just like when you're buying fresh salmon, you wanna look for good quality salmon when you're buying it canned as well. So that means looking for a wild salmon. My personal favorite is the wild sockeye salmon. It has this beautiful, rich, bright color, and it is hands down my go-to choice. But when I went to the grocery store, they only had one can left. So I got one of the wild sockeye and one of the wild pink. This is also a good option, but you can see the color is not as rich, it has a little bit of a milder flavor. So I thought for today, Today's video, I would just do a combination of both, but either of these would be great on their own, or you can do what I'm doing today and combine them. So the first thing that I do is just drain off any liquid from the canned salmon, and then I'm gonna get it into a nice big bowl. And you can really see the color difference here. This is the sockeyed salmon here, and this is the wild pink salmon. Now, you may notice that there are little bits of skin, maybe even some tiny little bones in canned salmon. It's perfectly normal, it's very nutritious, and don't let it freak you out because once you mix the salad together, it all breaks up, you don't even know it's in there. They're very soft, very tender. So don't let it intimidate you. Then the next thing that goes in is some celery. You want the equivalency of one large stalk of celery. I'm using celery that I already had pre-cut up in my crudité, so I'm just gonna give that a chop and get that into the bowl. And then I have one Persian cucumber. Now, these are the little small crunchy cucumbers. They don't have any seeds, so they won't water the salad down. I just like to slice it in half lengthwise, then a couple more slices down each half, rotate them and chop them up. We'll get those into the bowl, along with two tablespoons of finely diced red onion. Red onion is nice and sweet, but it also gives a little kick to the salad. And then I have two tablespoons of capers that I'm gonna chop up and get into the bowl as well. The capers are really briny, and that balance with the rich salmon is the perfect combination. It's so delicious. Then what I love to do, if you can get your hands on any fresh herbs, it completely elevates the flavor of the salad. So I take a couple tablespoons of fresh dill, which again pairs wonderfully with salmon, and a couple tablespoons of fresh parsley. Just chop them up, get them into the bowl, and you're gonna see it totally brings this salad to the next level. If you did not have those herbs on hand, the salad will still be delicious, and or if you had different herbs that you wanna work into the salad, that would work as well. Then I like to do a 50-50 split of real whole mayo and plain Greek yogurt. So I do a couple tablespoons of the mayo, gives it that nice tangy rich mayo flavor, and then a couple tablespoons of the Greek yogurt, which is light, it's nice and creamy, and it adds a little more protein to the mix. You could, of course, if you need to be dairy-free, use all mayo, or you could use all yogurt. The option is really yours, and I've tried it all the ways. They really are all delicious. Finish this with a little bit of kosher salt and a pinch of black pepper, and then I'm gonna gently begin to mix this together, and then I'm just gonna keep going until I've got everything incorporated. This is a really bright, flavorful salad, and it's a great way to infuse a little bit of life and energy into your pantry items. Now you can serve this salad any way you enjoy eating, say tuna salad. Salmon salad is very similar. So you could do this in some lettuce wraps. I love using Boston lettuce for this or bib lettuce. You could do a sandwich, just pick your favorite whole grain bread, or you could just do a little bowl with some crackers and some fresh veggies on the side. And if you wanted to do this salad for meal prep, just transfer it all into an airtight container and it will last up to three days in your refrigerator. Mm. 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 It's so bright. I love the richness of the salmon and the texture is perfect. So now that you guys have a delicious recipe to use for your canned salmon, I hope that you give it a try. And when you do, make sure that you snap a picture and tag me on Instagram and on Facebook so I can see all of the clean and deliciousness you're whipping up in your very own kitchens. And if you haven't already, please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share this video with anybody else you know who wants to make healthy eating easy. 
Thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees, and I will see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. After sharing my pantry essentials <clears throat> and show you how to make my, <clears throat> how to make my clean, <clears throat> here we go. Hello, how to make quarantine salmon salad. Very safe, you can get the can, toss it from six feet away, very safe. Hey honey, salmon? <laughs>